Hey love, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kia. If you're new here, where we do all things good games, good vibes, fitness, lifestyle, good food, all the above. So today I am going to be doing a cooking video, a highly requested video for this pasta that I absolutely love and I'm always making at my family events and I always post it on my story. So on Instagram, you know, I ask everybody to kind of just, you know, do you want me to give you the recipe to this pasta? Because it is like crack. I'm telling you, it's so good. It's so simple, yet so good. I love to cook and honestly, ever since I started my fitness journey, I really just love enjoying new recipes and just trying different things with my meals because it can get boring when we eat the same thing we already know that so today i'm going to be doing my seafood my cold seafood pasta and it is just so delicious I, I hope you guys like it let me know if you like it it's pretty simple right here i have my cucumbers the tomatoes shrimp the pasta olives crab meat and all the seasons that i'm going to be using as well as the Italian dressing. It's super simple, super easy. It's just so good. So I'm gonna start with the pasta just to get this going before I cut up all the veggies and start the shrimp. So let's get these going. I like to add a cup of oil or olive oil. It doesn't matter, just a little bit so it won't stick together. And you can add a little bit of like salt. Totally up to you. Kind of give the pasta just a little taste to it. So just put just a little. Just a little salt, you know. And then add in pasta. You can use uh, whatever pasta style you want. I typically would use penne or the actual spaghetti noodles, but I just wanted to do this. I'm not making as much, so I'm just gonna do this. So let's start by cutting our veggies, all of the veggies. So I typically use cucumber and tomato. And you have to take off the outside of the skin and just put the cucumber in the little small bites. You can make them big if you want, but I like mine in very tiny pieces. So. Okay, so let's move on to the tomatoes. Now, I like to get cherry tomatoes and I just cut them in half. So I wanted to talk about some of the topics that you all wanted me to talk about while I cook this pasta on my Instagram. I put like a question box and I got a few topics. So basically, I'm just gonna just talk about mindset, like having a positive mindset when it comes to anything in life. Um, just dealing with any circumstances is just, you know, overall mindset and the way that you think and look at things. So basically I had someone ask me about like, you know, how to deal with, you know, like guys that are like no good or whatever the situation is. The way she worded it was like funny, but um, and like friendships and like, you know, how to stay uh, focused. It was another one, I think. It was like business related. And pretty much I think that, should I make these a little smaller? I think I'm gonna cut them a little smaller, just a little bit. I think that, these are kind of big. I think that you have to basically have a positive mindset about everything. Even when, you know, things are not going your way regardless of what the situation is and whatever you're dealing with, friendship, relationship, um, work related, family related, um, business, anything. I just feel like you have the ability to control your emotions and how you let things get to you. So basically what I like to do is say, for instance, if I'm dealing with something with friends or, well, I don't really deal with that type of issues. Let's say family, relationship, um, business, just in general. I just pretty much think of things as it is what it is, mindset. And you have to really learn how to not let things control you because the minute you do that, it's just not good. So if you're someone that's dealing with a shitty guy or a shitty girl, you have to think about it as 
Like these, sometimes people will not come to the same level as you. And you have to realize when that's happening and you have to just be like, okay, they may not be at the same growth level as me or I don't know, you have to pretty much look at it like that because everybody's mind is differently. Everybody uh, outgrow certain things differently. And I feel like ever since I adopted that mindset, my whole life changed for the better. Okay, so little are gone and I'm ready to just kind of like drain the here. I'm going to pull off a little bit. I'm going to make a shrimp next. Now I'm going to pour tomatoes and cucumbers, get that out of the way, get some crab meat, but yes, basically just look at things in a positive way, even when you don't want to, and your whole mindset will just change, and things will just work out better, no, nothing's worse than just stressing out about things that you can't control, like people are going to be people, men or women, um, Work is going to be work, business is going to be business, and friends are going to be friends, family is going to be family. There's nothing worse than you trying to change the way somebody think because you're on a totally different like mindset shift. Like, there's no way, and you can't control people's the way they handle situations and the way that they treat you. You just have to just go with the flow. So, for the question that I had about um, the uh, guy. Basically, just you know, it is what it is. You just have to wish people well and just understand, you know, that you did your part, you played your part, and it is what it is. And you won't. That's with anything, and that's with work, with friends. I don't care what it is. Like, just look at the positive about it and just move on with your life or with the next task. Another thing is somebody said about being focused. Um, if you're hanging around the wrong people, if you're doing the wrong things, you're gonna always be unfocused. Like, and if you're listening to the same thing, watching the same thing, you're not gonna be focused as you wanna be because the habits that you create for yourself have to be healthy habits, and you have to require, you, and they have to be habits that's gonna keep you focused. If you're still hanging around people that don't care about life or don't care about you know, doing something or starting a skill or doing whatever, then you're going to always be, and that's it. You are who you hang around. So if you're trying to be focused and you have people that constantly want to party, constantly want to go out, and when you say no and they get upset, you're not going to be focused. So you have to just pay attention to that. There's nothing wrong with going out. I go out every now and then, but if I don't want to go, I'm not going. And like, the, my friends, they understand that, and we all understand each other. It's like, do what you have to do. We're gonna meet up another time. We're, we're all like that, and I'm so thankful for this circle that I have because you have some people that you would just, they, they won't understand, and they'll think that you just don't wanna hang out or whatever the case may be, but it's like, people, you you have to be around people. That, the, the, you have to just, you don't know. So, I cut up the crab meat, crab meat's done. But yeah, guys, I just want you all to know that, you know, life is all about being positive even when there's negative. Like, you have to just go with the flow, pray about it, and just be grateful for everything. And life is just so much better that way because there's nothing worse than stressing about things you can't control. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. But yeah, that's my outlook on that. And um, I think I'm gonna do another separate video of me just talking about how to just be confident and become the best version of yourself because you can do it. You can change everything about yourself if you want. You can change your mind about how you do so much. It's like, you can always reinvent yourself, if that makes sense. Like, you don't have to have the same type of um, style, the same type of, uh, business, the same type of friends, the same type of, you have to know that you are in control of your life and nobody can stop you from being who you want to be. And don't listen to the naysayers. So it's just think positive. When there's negative involved, always think positive and just say, yeah. And it's okay to have like emotions and let it out. Cause sometimes I can get overwhelmed or I can be upset about something, but I don't stay there that long. I'm out, I'm in and out. So, crap meat's done. I'm gonna just put this in here with the veggies. 
and then I'm gonna make the shrimp. So now I'm just gonna add in the noodles. They kind of cooled off a little bit, so hot. I'm just gonna add in, you know, just enough. Not too, too much. And then if you need more, you can just add in as you go. Okay, now let's do our shrimp. I like to season mine with a little bit of paprika. I honestly freestyle my seasoning with this pasta and it just turns out good every time regardless and not too much because it is shrimp so don't want to be too salty. Garlic salt. The other one was adobo. I'm going to add some pepper. A little bit of Italian seasoning. I'm just going to go like this. And we're gonna just cook it for just a few minutes. Shrimp does not take that long. So, we go. Let this cook for about, the shrimp are done. You'll know when they start turning. Normally about five minutes, not even. Shrimp does not take long to make at all. And then I am going to add them into the bowl with everything. All the juices just flowing in there. And I'm going to add my olives. You can add as much as you like. You can add a little bit of the juices in there. Let everything blend up. And now we're going to pour in the Italian dressings. I like to use the zesty one and I mix it with a little bit of the Italian dressing. Pretty much when you're adding in your your uh, Italian dressing, you just wanna kinda like eye it. Like you don't want it to be too dry or too wet. So you want to just, you know, do a little bit of both, shake it well. And then just kinda just ease it up in there and then give it a quick stir. So that's not enough, so I'm just going to keep adding as I go. Keep going like a little bit more, you know, nice and like a salad. That's a salad. And let all of the seasons just soak in. Parmesan cheese. Do a nice sprinkle of cheese. Like I said, I normally make a big pan of this, but I'm just making a little small pan for tonight. A small bowl. And now you can just kind of just add a note. I put a little bit of Italian seasoning on it. And then add a little more garlic salt or regular salt, whichever you prefer, just to kind of make sure that it's a little more of a taste but you can kind of taste it first if you don't want it to be a little just to make sure that it's not saucy but it always blends well and it's the flavors look at that oh my goodness i think i'm gonna add a little bit more italian dressing and once you let this sit so it's all about letting it just kind of come together and then once you let this sit it is so delicious once you eat this pasta, you're not gonna stop wanting it. I let this sit in the fridge for at least an hour. You can let it sit in there more, but it's supposed to be like cold pasta. You can eat it now, but I like to let this, the juices just soak in. And so I'm gonna just let this sit for about an hour to wrap it up with some foil or whatever you use. And let it sit in the fridge for about an hour to cool off and just let everything soak up. It's been a little over an hour, so it should be good and cool and all the flavors should be settled in. Like, so let's taste. Let's see. It's so yummy. Thank you guys for coming in. It's literally one of my favorite pastas, and I love pasta for my games, so this is a good, this is a good option right here. I hope you all enjoyed this cooking video. Let me know what you all think about the pasta if you try it. Have fun, be safe, and I'll see you all in my next video.